Yeah, here we go. Yay. All right, so uh, I guess I'm going to do Ask a Chio for a while. Um, <sighs> I'm down to 86 questions in my Ask a Chio inbox. There must be at least one good one in here somewhere. Um, somebody pick a color. I need a background color. Uh, okay, I let's try Brad's first and see what that comes out as. Apparently, a very dark purple ish, kind of. Why not? Let's do it. Maybe I don't want to do that one yet. This is hard. This is the worst part, is trying to pick a good question. Like... Yeah. Something that's not going to give away everything, and... Also is interesting. And also isn't the same question, because everybody asks the same things over and over. This is weird because I'm used to using Mega Studio to ink in, and I've been doing that for like weeks on end. And Photoshop feels really weird by comparison. 
because it doesn't adjust my lines for me, which is probably cheating, but I don't really care. Pascaccio is just supposed to be kind of goofy and quick anyway, so... I guess that doesn't really matter. This is just me mumbling to myself while I work on this stuff, because I'm sitting here by myself and I have no one to talk to. So. Oh yeah, Brad, you do have a patron question. I will definitely use that because I haven't sent those yet, but I was going to do that like tomorrow, I think. Well, that's exciting. Oh, okay. I think. I need a smaller brush and this This is terrible. I talk to myself all the time while I'm doing this. It gets worse when I'm like talking to the computer. Okay. Uh, these are just quick guidelines for writing on. And this Chio is not actually moving very quickly to the right, even though it might look that way. Good enough. Gotcha. Um, mm -hmm. This is answer one forty one. I am amazed that I've done this many. Like, I didn't think anyone would ever be this into it. One down. Yay. Um, mm -hmm. 
Okay. Now I have a Brad question. Um, let's see, this is 42. Pick some new colors. Um, any color suggestions at all? I'm going to post up on like DeviantArt, but I'm doing this right now. There's nobody in here. And that's a little sad. Um, okay, hang on. Let's see what that works out to. Oh. It's kind of a weird brown. So I don't know how that's going to work with a question about snow, but we're going to figure it out. Hey, it's Eckert. Yay. Um, let's see, I'm posting this link quickly. Streaming, yay. No. DeviantArt has become the worst. Like, they rearranged their menus and now I click the wrong thing every time. questions so far just one because I spent a lot of time bumbling around um, OBS is kind of goofy because I started it up and it made me download an update and then I restarted it and it immediately started acting ridiculous stuff. Now I'm back to actually doing questions. Okay, what was Brad's question again? Do Tios like snow? Okay. Second, I need to be a pain and open up um, other stuff. <laughs> That's all I needed. I thought that would take longer. Okay. Um, Hello, new people. Do Cheetos like snow? How am I going to answer this? Um, okay. Took me a second.
I don't know where it came from, but I've gotten really into drawing Ascachio answers with like really ridiculous faces. This one is really horrifying, but it's just a sketch, so don't worry too much. Five nights at Chios. Oh god. I don't want to play it in VR. I don't want to play it ever. It's like five nights at Chios is every night at my house. That's interesting. I discovered a new shortcut, which you probably can't see in uh, the streaming thing because I don't think it shows the mouse, but if you use Photoshop and you hit caps lock, it changes what the little brush icon looks like. And I never knew that. That's really unimportant. Yeah. Okay. Um This is totally not turning out how I was thinking it would, but whatever. It's like the nice thing about Askachio is it's kind of like a, a quick way to experiment with stuff and still make something useful out of it so it's not like a bunch of wasted time. Uh, yeah, it's not as bad as I was thinking. 
some of these come out really stupid and I just don't care and that's terrible but these are too quick to I don't know, invest too much time in. This is alright though. I was worried it was gonna be not good. Oh no, it doesn't fit. So that's the best I could come up with for this one for now. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, get slightly more depth, maybe. Not really. I don't know. good enough I guess so I need a suggestion for the next background color Oh, hi, anybody I missed. I can't have the uh, chat open all the time, so... I try not to miss people, but I need to find some other way of doing this. Light purple. Okay. Good enough. Oh, mm -hmm. 
I don't want it to look too much like the last one. But that was dark purple, so it doesn't really matter. Well, two questions ago. Uh, hmm. Let's see. I need a question back into my bin of, like, 85 questions now. I think it's gone down. I did one, so... There's one that I really want to do because it's got good questions in it, but the person who did it put like five questions into one ask. So I could do that one eventually, but I think I'm going to have to do it as like a multi-part thing. Hmm. And then there's some in here that I feel like I've done before, and I can't remember, and that's the worst part. Like, someone asks stuff, and then I draw an answer, and then I forget that I did it, and I don't want to duplicate them. Okay, I didn't do this one. I just did a similar one, but... Unfortunately, I'm going to have to paint over the background. So, light purple is just going to be the base, but... Thank you for your input anyway. As I'm about to ruin it. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. If I were smart, I would have planned ahead and had music, but I didn't think about that. An old web game. Are you talking to me or are you talking to somebody else?
to me. Okay. Do you remember what game it was? Just out of curiosity. The nightfall incident. I haven't heard of that. I have had the same name online since I was like in middle school, which is terrible because that was more than 10 years ago. Oh god, that was probably more like 15 years ago. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I don't remember how I came up with the name Bug Bite other than it was a stupid clever pun. And I like stupid clever puns sometimes. But, um, anyway, somehow it stuck and I've ended up <laughs> using it forever, basically. Yeah, it's a, it, I don't know, it's a dumb pun. It's easy to remember. <laughs> anyway, now you know my terrible superhero origin story. People usually ask and I don't want to tell them because it's a dumb story, but it makes it sound more interesting when I'm like, oh, I can't tell you that. It's a secret. How old is this game? I'm just like curious at this point. If it's something worth my time to look up or not. <laughs> Also, I'm spending way more time on this than I planned on, but... When someone asks for space geos, I don't think I can say no. I'm having a moment, and I need to just run with it. I also don't know if my audio cut out, so if anyone could tell me whether you can still hear me or not, that would be helpful. Oh, no, never mind. It's still working.
Never mind. Oh, that doesn't make sense. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm inventing space geo space seeds. I have started making like space geos like a bunch of times over. There's no point because it doesn't happen in the story. Like at all. Ever. But it's kind of fun. <laughs> like it would be really fun to be able to do like a nod canon kind of side comic thing just for fun someday, but I don't know when I'm ever going to have the time. And I don't know if anyone's going to read it anyway. <laughs> catching up on chat. Okay, I'm going to uh, type something and send it, and then we're going to see how bad this lag is exactly. <laughs> so, typing a thing for lag check. Send. Okay. It's going to be like a two minute lag, I'm sure. Um...
<sighs> Space Jews. There's a question where Icy goes on a solo adventure. Did somebody actually ask that? Because I totally want to draw that. Hello. Do I have audio again? Maybe? Yay! That's significantly less lag. Hopefully it stays that way. I think part of the problem is also that my computer is super old and I have maxed out the RAM that I can put in it and it maxes out at 4 gigabytes.
I should really finish this one up. <laughs> um, maybe I'll come back to it later. Because I'm having too much fun doing this. Which is good and bad. I kind of do want to color this one, but I should probably also do more questions because the point is these are supposed to be quick. And here I am, ignoring that. That's my life. Okay, uh, pausing streaming for just a second, going to restart this, okay, uh, yeah, okay, um, two things. First thing being, give me another background color. And the other thing being that the audio fell way, way out of sync with what was actually showing up on the stream. And I'm pretty sure that the reason for that was, um, RAM, like I was thinking. Um, I have this little monitor thing up in the corner that shows me what's going on, and it was like down to nothing, which was, I guess, caused by um, having two whole tabs of Tumblr open in Safari. I would add more, but I totally can't. <laughs> I want to do the icy question.
but I think I'm going to wait on that one. I want to think about it because it's too much fun and I want to enjoy it. Okay, here's a good silly one. Oh, I totally want a new computer. <laughs> One day. I shouldn't complain, like, I got the computer that I have right now in college um, as part of a scholarship for buying supplies, which was really cool. And it's lasted me like a good eight years or so. But my problem, more or less, is that I really want another Mac and I'm not going to settle for something less because they last a really, really long time. Like, this is a fine computer. If I were not trying to stream and do crazy things, it would be perfect. But the stuff that I want to do just uses more than I have. And it was kind of like the low end one at the time, too, when I was originally buying it. So there's that. Government auction sites. Uh, I used to work at a university and our stuff was auctioned off like that, like our old equipment, and that stuff has been through hell most of the time. <laughs> like, it's a great idea, but I don't know, I totally want a Mac. I can't, I just can't go back. <laughs> I'm terrible. So much of my stuff is, like, Mac at this point, because it's like, I could get a cheap Windows computer, but then I'd have to buy software all over again. So, it wouldn't be cheap in the end anyway. just literally making this one up as I go and it's really goofy looking
<sighs> so, how's everybody? Yeah, I don't usually plan streams anymore. Like, I've had so much trouble with them that it's not worth it. But I want to do them. So... <laughs> it's like a weird position where I don't want to get people's hopes up and be like, Yeah, show up here on Friday at whatever time and then... have the whole thing like collapse and that's lame Did I save this? That would be good to know, probably. There. This is answer 145. Every time I save one of these, I'm like completely amazed that I've done that many. <laughs> And it just keeps getting worse. Probably basically good enough.
That was sort of faster. Nasty shortcut. Now I'm just curious. And I need another background color from anybody who wants to suggest one. Well, what kind of troubles? Oh, that one. Yeah, I kind of mistype that one frequently. Well, thankfully, if I haven't saved, which is usually the case, it will at least chirp and remind me, like, hey! But, um, it's the worst, like, when I'm browsing the internet, because I always hit the wrong one. Like, I have, like, a million tabs open, I'm doing something important, and I hit control Q. And that's one of those instances where it doesn't stop and remind me, like, hey, moron, you hit the wrong thing. It's Fox, yay. There shouldn't be feedback. I mean, maybe there's an echo because the room I'm in is kind of empty ish. I wonder if it's using the wrong microphone. That would be kind of lame. Let's find out. Uh. Oh, how did I do this? Every time I do this, I do the wrong thing. Yay, Fox is blue now! Okay. I need a background color. I could do yellow, just in honor of Foxtain. Eh? Or blue. Lime green. I love lime green. That's like one of my favorite, favorite colors. But I have to check and make sure that I haven't done it recently. I don't think I have. That's so weird, there shouldn't be an echo, because it's like... I'm wearing a headset. And... I don't know. <laughs>
Okay, lime green it is. Let's let's do this. That is screamingly eye burning green, which is exactly what I wanted. Yay. Now I have to pick a question. I thought I did and then I got distracted. Maybe it's good that I can't have the chat open all the time. Can Geo's even? Put it in the ask box. <laughs> if you put it in, I will get to it eventually. Um, no, the one... The one that was done is um, Kenshio's Even Lift. Hang on, now I gotta find it. Which, like, was a, a bunch of questions, and they sat in my box for like a year, because every time I would get one, I was like, I'm not doing this right now, I'm gonna do it later. But here it is. There you go. Enjoy it. But I think that's a different question. Actually, I don't have one about the color shifting dress thing, but I already have an answer. I'm ready for that. It's actually not the answer I was going to use, but I guess we'll never know. One thing I wish is that people would ask more questions directed like at characters. That's really strange. I could change my microphone, but it's the one that's built into my computer and it's like three feet away from me. No. I. No, my speakers are not on. I have a headset on with a microphone in it. Which should be fine. <laughs> Ugh, these questions. See now, 
I don't know. Like maybe I could ask the group of you because I don't have a good answer. Um So um basically there's a question that I get every so often in here and I'm not going to say what it is, but it's something that I did answer in the last Patreon sketchbook for patrons and I don't know if I should like double dip and do it again or just say that it exists somewhere. I don't know if that's fair because it's like I could just do it again. I don't know because it's like I kind of want to answer it but I kind of have. Does it ever go public? I'm going to say this one won't. So yeah, maybe I should just answer it again. It's hard. Like, I don't want to make the Patreon people feel like I'm shorting them by answering it for free. But then I don't want to make people reading it for free feel like they have to pledge to Patreon? Like, ugh. These are my dilemmas. This is... Yeah, different versions, because technically this would be like the shorter, lamer version. And it's not even like a big deal question anyway. Okay. Decision made. Okay, it's lame. I don't know why I was like fretting about this, but I was. Here we go. I don't know. I just I want to make people feel like they're getting what they pay for if they decide to pay me. And if they want to keep reading my free stuff, I don't want them to feel like I'm screwing them out of story elements. <laughs> I don't know. Web content is weird. Like, if this was just a book, it would be easier, but it's not. Hmm. Yeah, whatever.
things am I looking forward to getting issue two done for print? Because I have like all the files that I'm trying to set up correctly and submit that so I can get some books in my hands. Um, I have convention stuff coming up, which I'm excited about because that's something I've never done before and I hope we do really well. Um, yeah, mostly just stuff like that. Um, and, oh, moving along in the story, because we sat down, like, last weekend and, like, refined the whole script for Chapter 3, and I am super, super excited about where this is going. Like, I can't wait to get to the end of Chapter 2 right now, because, um, it's stuff that I've been thinking about for like almost the past three years, like as long as we've been working on this comic. It's like, if I can just get to this moment, it's going to be the best moment. And it's probably not even that exciting, but I'm excited about it. Um, but yeah, the story really, really starts to pick up like at the end of two and in three, like three gets really good. Um, and from there, we kind of just start rolling. Like it's taken us this long to find our feet, basically. Um, it's, it's basically, like, the only thing I can compare it to is when you start watching, like, a particular series of Star Trek, and the first season is like, ugh, I don't want to watch this anymore, and then you get to season two, and it's like, holy crap, they figured out what they're doing! This is great! But it feels like, it feels weird being on the, the creation end of that, but still feeling like, this is so boring, and I hope people are interested in it, and I hope they hang on long enough to get to the really fun part. But that's coming up, so I'm pretty excited and really looking forward to that. Next question from Fox. Um, so, like, for drawing the head, it looks like you're doing the whole draw the base shape, figure out what parts of the head and face go on, what parts of the spheroid, then details. Sort of combining basic solids together to make a complex shape thing. Hooray <laughs> for precise language. Hooray! Um... Yeah, more or less, that is kind of how my brain works, is, like, for the entire sketch, like, not even just the head, but, like, um, if you've ever seen, like, uh, one of those little, like, drawing dummy things, which are kind of, like, they look like a little stick man thing that breaks up the body into really simple shapes like this, but they're jointed and you can pose them. That's kind of almost how I try to think about what I'm drawing, because like if you can break down um, a body or a shape, like organic shapes are hard just because they're so curvy and crazy, um, into pieces like that it sort of helps figure out placement for things like, so yeah, and you're basically right, like um, you, I work from, like, thinking about it as, like, the most simple, sort of filtered down to the complex, like, um, you know, uh, the head is just a round thing with pointy things on it and a, a lump on the front, so from there, <laughs> you know, and then just refining it as I go. So that's where the sketch layer comes from, and then just, like, drawing on top of it to figure out, like, details. But for me, it kind of feels like um, taking a shape and kind of just, like, dressing it up. Um, like, like you're taking a frame and, like, laying fabric or something over it and kind of in my head figuring out, you know, how things are going to flow and where they're going to wrap and that kind of thing. And um, the sketch is really just the, the framework for it which was an overly drawn out answer for like not a terribly complicated question. Yeah, thank you writer person for like coming up with a shorter way of saying what I'm fumbling at saying cuz you know that kind of thing. You know what I mean. You don't need me around. You guys can answer your own questions. 
Uh, yeah, let's color this in. Why not? Why not? Yeah, Manic, if you are, uh, I don't know, looking for people or something, you should come join our IRC channel, um, because I suspect you will probably find some interest in this sort of thing. Um, somebody can link it, because I don't have a link handy, but it's good times and all that stuff. Um... Fix this up. Yeah, Mibit. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. completely wrong for some reason. Good enough. Um, oh, that's why. It's not supposed to be there. Oh, it has been a long day, and I don't know what I'm looking at anymore. <laughs> Looking for the truth that has yet to be sought. What? You're getting too deep on me, Zach. I don't know what's going on here anymore. Okay, uh, later, Fox. Good luck with your exam and all that, and uh, thanks for stopping in. Oh, he's already gone. Darn it. This is what I get. I should just get back to drawing. Uh, how was I going to answer this? Da, da, da.
Okay. Um, I think this is going to be my last one for now. Um, I need a break because I need to eat dinner, but I might be back. I see plushies. The eternal question. Um, I want to, but I don't know. I can't give a solid answer on that. Like, I want to see how some of the things I'm working on to promote the comic go over the next few months, and if I can make any progress or have any success in getting more readers, then it's definitely on the table as a consideration. If you want to help me get there faster, definitely, like, you know, spread links to your friends or people you think might be interested in reading it because the more people we can get interested in reading it and potentially buying stuff from us will definitely help out if we ever decide to do like a Kickstarter or something for that. Like I definitely have ideas in mind and I've looked at like plush vendors and that kind of thing, but it's coming up with the funding that's the really hard part because you have to order like a minimum of like a thousand of them. So I would need, you know, at least a few hundred people who would want to buy icy plushies. Or, you know, at least a few people who each want to buy 20 icy plushies. <laughs> but, you know, that kind of thing would definitely help if you feel so inclined. Um, yeah, I, uh, this whole stuff with, like, conventions and doing that kind of thing is like our first big step into trying to actually promote 